All the money. All the money. <laughs> <laughs> XRP is about to make multimillionaires. You have to, it's, it's over time. And this is, this is for your future. In the mm. next five to 10 years, XRP is gonna be through the roof. Before they label XRP the standard, we gon' blast off. You gon' be stranded, be deserted, that's a bad call. All them coins you holding, they collapse, that's a bad fall. What's up, XRP fam? What's up, crypto family? It's the bag man back in the building, the moon commander. How's everybody doing out there? I hope y'all are doing well, holding strong, stuffing those bags, and enjoying the show out there. XRP at a dollar 37. Shout out to everybody who hung out last night at the crypto music contest. Shout out to all the participants and shout out to the winners. Our top first place winner, Mrs. and Mr. J. Kill. Second place, Benny V. Ben Vargas and our third place winner was Elton Goofy. If you want to check out the contest we streamed over on Lady E's channel, so go ahead and check that out. I'll have a link down below. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump into this extra, extra foolishness. It's the XRP Army. We all heard the call in. You didn't hear it, no, not sorry. We on an island, please don't call me. Before we get started, if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and drop a comment down below that you subscribed and I'll drop a bag man emoji on you. Shout out to all the OGs out there. Go ahead and smash that like button. Let's go ahead and dive in. Calling out all XRP army members, calling out all army members. It's time to end the war on XRP and it looks like we're almost there. We only need about 400 more signatures to get this thing going. Gary Gensler and the war on XRP or asking Gary Gensler the recently confirmed as the new chairman of the SEC to take a close look at the SEC's allegations against Ripple Labs, its co-founders, and the harm the SEC actions have already and needlessly caused to holders of the digital currency XRP. Mr. Gensler, we also petition to you, make a public commitment to sitting down with the holders of XRP and other digital assets to understand what it truly means to defend the investors at the SEC. Your agency is trying to silence our voices in the Ripple lawsuit, show us you understand what your job is all about. End the Ripple lawsuit and stop the SEC from making up cryptocurrency rules through the lawsuit in place of writing these rules properly with the public input and partnerships of the US Congress. Join us together with US crypto and blockchain developers and digital asset holders to develop a clear regulatory framework for everyone which makes sense and protects innovation while fighting fraud and criminality. We are ready to work for you. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. So I have the links down below so we can get the army out on this petition. The question of whether XRP is a security will be crucial. SCFT commissioner on regulatory clarity. Question of whether XRP is a security will be crucial. XRP is similar to Bitcoin and other digital assets, but also different in key respects, which prompted the SEC's investigation. I'm watching the outcome of this case closely as it will help to establish the scope of the SEC's authority in the digital asset space, Commissioner Stumm said. Drawing attention to SEC's Commissioner Hester Pierce's work regarding the application of the Howey test to digital assets, which provide the framework for determining whether certain assets are securities. So once the SEC show is finished and they label XRP the standard, you will see the regulation molasses jar blast off in that green candle blasting through that price jar for XRP. Is the flare airdrop to XRP holders taxable? Here's what Ripple CTO says. At J, the accountant saying, flare airdrop for US citizens who hold XRP is taxable per IRS Rev. Ruling 2019-24. He claims that should the flare price witness a rally ended by a massive sell-off, those who hold flare through the whole tax year will be put at an unfair disadvantage. This is why the possible taxation evolves into a dangerous potential catalyst for selling flair and its price drops. David Schwartz says the faster the better. Regarding the estimation, CTO David Schwartz stressed that the flare airdrop will be taxable. Thus, flare network should airdrop the flare as soon as possible to reduce artificial selling pressure created by tax implications. Flair representative disagreed with Mr. Yoakum's take and Flair CEO Hugen Fillion responded, Flair Networks will take some time to come out with its own analysis of the tax aspects of the Flair airdrop. Meanwhile, he will not comment on the tax aspects of the Flair airdrop until this analysis is released. Let me know if you agree down below with David Schwartz if you think 
Flare should just get the airdrop done with and just drop the whole amount on us at once. Blockchain technology and building equity for gamers. Josh Williams, CEO and co-founder of Forte, sit down to discuss microeconomies and games, how Forte and others are cultivating new monetary incentives and interoperability between games through the use of NFTs and the future of digital assets in the gaming space. And don't forget building games on the blockchain with Ripple Labs and Forte. Forte leverages the Interledger protocol, our open source protocol for conducting transactions across different blockchains in combination with ILP. The company utilizes the digital asset XRP to maximize cross-chain interoperability, security, and inter-asset liquidity. So shout out to Forte, shout out to Ripple. They still have plenty of things going on behind the scenes. Gaming, DeFi, payments, micropayments, the list goes on. XRP the standard. At Reborn13, interesting how it took Bitcoin roughly three years and three months to reach new all-time highs from 2013 to 17. Isn't it also interesting how it's currently three years and three months since XRP last hit the all-time highs? Isn't it also interesting how XRP's last all-time high was 333? Don't the charts look alike? So this is the Bitcoin chart. And here we have XRP. XRP setting up for that next massive push to complete moonshot one gary gensler sworn in as the 33rd chair of the u.s securities and exchange commission and we have bank xrp i know that taking on this chairmanship you're going to do this to protect our free market economy for the people of our country recognizing that it is the people that have to be protected all these three three threes isn't it interesting how it's currently three years and three months since xrp last hit its all-time highs isn't it also interesting xrp's last all-time high e33 and we have gary gensler the 33rd chair of the securities and exchange commission and now check this out the tie that gary's wearing if you can see it x marks the spot i put one in right here so you can kind of see it <laughs> let me know down below let me know if you can see all these little x's on gary gensler's tie here it is without the x that i put in you can see all the little X's on Gary Gensler's tie, the 33rd chair of the Securities Exchange Commission. Also XRP three years and three months since it last hit all time highs, last all time highs, 333. You know where we're going. My bags are packed. You know what we hold. X marks the spot. Yet another step forward for XRP. Here are the Sum Wallet 2.0 details. Few functionalities of the Sum Wallet include the scan QR button in the middle of the bottom button bar was replaced by a launcher button, introduced X apps. X apps are small apps by the XRPL team and curated third parties. X apps are available in Sum to access specific XRP ledger features straight from the launcher button. Adding themes besides the existing light theme, dark, moonlight, and royal were available. Settings, general theme, added support for holding and sending and receiving NFTs based on the XLS 14E standard proposal, added option to hide accounts from the account switching panel. In terms for developer experience, the new version comes with a updated SDK and a reviewed KYC procedure for engineers who experiment with the sum functions. Apart from these features, five other additions were implemented as mentioned in the release notes. In the latest updates, Sum Wallet added the support for holding, sending, receiving, NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Now users will be able to trade and exchange collectibles created in accordance with the XLS 14D standard proposal. NFTs come in to an XRP ledger near you. The aforementioned updates were in line with the SUM roadmap plan. According to this map, their next upcoming release included SUM 3.0, set to be announced in mid-2021. As specified in the mid-2020 blog post, we've already developed a couple important features required for SUM 3.0. They are present but hidden in some 2.0 so we can start testing some 3.0 features with selected community members this allows us to work our way towards a fast and smooth some 3.0 release later this year as stated by the company those are the new features for some 2.0 also some more features coming this summer for some 3.0 be on a lookout for that xrp dips limited in xrp a successful break above the triangle resistance and then a dollar 56 could set the pace for a fresh surge. In this case, the price could even rally above 165 and the 170 levels. So we say we need to bounce above this level right here and we can be headed back up towards $2 for XRP. They also say dips limited in XRP. If Ripple fails to clear the 150 mark, 
resistance or $1.56, it could correct further lower and initial support on the downside is near the $1.32 level and the next major support level is near the $1.28 level. Any more losses might call for a drop towards the $1.15 support zone in the coming session. So limited downside for XRP as we go on to complete moonshot one it's still altcoin season 94 and for the monthly index we're at about an 86 let's go ahead and dive into the xrp chart the last moonshot in 2017 for moonshot one it only took 10 days 16 hours to complete moonshot one and then we corrected the first correction only took about six days and then the other one after that took about two days but after that it was completion for moonshot one and in 2017 it only took xrp 10 and a half days to complete moonshot one now we're in a new cycle and xrp is a bit heavier so xrp in the previous bull run it was way lighter meaning it was only 0 0.005 so there's not much to get up to this level up here doesn't really take that much from 0 0.005 to about seven cents so we're in a new cycle now xrp is a little bit heavier so it's probably going to move a little bit slower this cycle as you can see now our first correction major correction here about seven days in we're already about 18 days in from our first move for moonshot one so already eight days longer than the previous bull run for moonshot one for xrp we still got a few weeks left in april we'll see what happens i'm still looking for xrp to blast through and complete moonshot one by the end of this month we'll see what happens for xrp now we're going to compare xrp to dogecoin dogecoin already passed its previous all-time highs you can see dogecoin the previous all-time highs were right here and dogecoin once it got through this correction right here blasted through those previous all-time highs and you can see this first correction for doge took about 26 days and the second one up here took about 64 days for dogecoin if we compare this to xrp xrp hasn't reached those all-time highs yet xrp is probably if we compare it to doge it's probably doing this right here let's check out xrp here goes xrp it still hasn't reached these all-time highs what dogecoin did is it almost went up to the all-time highs it had a correction and then after that it blasted off way past the all-time highs setting new all-time highs so for xrp it looks like xrp might be in the same position this is dogecoin on the right hand side xrp may be working on this one right here setting up for that next massive push to set some new all-time highs so we'll continue to keep an eye out on xrp xrp currently in a seven day correction you can see doge down here the first one right here took about 26 days and the next one up here took about 64 days. And other than that, that's all I got for this one. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this one. We're gonna end this one with our contest winner from last night, Mr. and Mrs. J Kills 420 contest. Can't get our keys. I appreciate everybody out there tuning in and everybody's support out there. I will catch y'all all in the next one. Continue to stay safe out there. Continue to hold those good vibes and I will see you all at the moon party. Don't forget to bring a bag. The trial bridge is closed. Gators and the milk bodies decompose. Creeping through the cemetery, cyber truck, curse body bags in the back, and they're stuffed with mad serves. Bags on the speakers, and we blazing that perk. Supreme witch by my side, we breaking that curse. J Kill XRP is what they call me, blowing clouds all day with the XRP army. Like I'm acting crazy They just walk away Like a bunch of zombie XRP moon Fly away from Killy
After SEC, I'm getting bags. I don't believe. Never will I be deceived. I still got bags in other houses, chimneys. I be out in Bali. I just learned karate. Streds limo like Pilates. Got a few new hobbies. TikTok on my wrist. Ice like I'm playing hockey. We just jumped off the yacht. Yeah, we island shopping. Views like a wallpaper. Castle like a skyscraper.